All right. Um, just going to play some HD VR because, uh, well, there's a lot of stuff uh, in the recent update. Uh, I forgot to mention what, uh, what are we doing with the minigun and all these attachments. Well, <laughs> uh, someone suggested on Twitter that instead of like having the individual barrels, you know, you could put suppressors on the, you know, someone suggested that on Twitter. But Anton said that's not possible. But somebody, somebody else said, what if you just put one giant suppressor on the gun, on the minigun? And uh, yeah. So now we got suppressor uh, compatibility with the uh, minigun. Let's see how that sounds without it. Whoop. I'll pick that up later. All right, so that means with suppressor compatibility, now you can do stuff like adding a extension. So you can, I uh, will, you know, it's gonna be pretty hard because you're gonna have to reach. Uh, uh, come on, I can do it. There we go. You can stick a long barrel on this thing and, oh man, this is gonna, okay, you know what? Oh no. It's stuck. Let's just uh, put that one there. Let's put a little muzzle brake on that. <laughs> Come on. You can do this. Get out of the wall. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, so now you can put muzzle brakes on the uh, minigun. That is a beautiful looking weapon right there. Look at that. It's kind of uh, big though, so I have to move back from the doorway so I can swing it around here <laughs> and put it in the trash. <laughs> All right. Well, today, what was I going to do? Um, yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Just get rid of all the stuff. I was going to mess around with the sausage spawner because... Uh, this is, uh, to me, this is a lot more interesting than the bangers, although the bangers are really cool. Um, I like stuff like this, you know. Development tools, you know, and, and stuff like that, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna mess around with this today and see if, uh... I can understand some of the stuff. Some of the, some of the stuff looks interesting, like, uh... Like this stuff right here. Like, set saucy, guard point, guard look at... Assault point. I don't know how that works, but let me just uh, spawn a simple Sausage. Spawn activated, no. Disabled. All equipment. IFF. Let's let it load. There we go. Sausage there. Now, how does this work? Oh. Select Sausage. Gotcha. Guard point. Oh, okay. So if you to told them to... Hmm. Oh, nope. That's not right. Hold on. All right. And then set guard point to over there. Now I'll go back to select Sausage. Activate. Oh, maybe, uh, nope. All right. Uh, let's try something else a little more advanced here. Let's go with the uh, shot dogs, my favorite. And uh, we'll just go with spec ops. Spawn that dude right there. He's okay. Select the sausage. Set guard point. Activate. Nope. Oh, there we go. Okay, so he's moving towards the guard point. Okay. Let's spawn another one. 
Same spec ops. Go to commands. Select Sausage. Boom. And then set Sausage Assault Point. Let's go over there. All right. Activate. And... Uh, Activate. Huh? Hmm. Pretty cool. So, I think I got the handle on that. Let me just see if I can go to the testing arena here. The whatever this is, <laughs> was called. I forgot what it was called. And uh, let's spawn some sausages. All right. Let's see. Um, got some spec ops. Dude's here. Uh, you guys will be guarding uh, this area right there. All right, that's cool. Let's deselect these sausages. And then we'll spawn a couple of scouts. <clears throat> Uh, where am I going to spawn them? One here, one here. Uh, let's see. You guys, I'm going to select you two. And I'm going to make you go assault. Center here. Okay. Go back to select Sausage. And uh, let's see. You select all just for right now. Now for the other team, I'm going to spawn some Merc Wieners. Gonna have a couple of guards. Oh! Get something in my environment there. We're going to spawn them a little bit farther away, but I'm gonna tell them to go guard that center. Right, so... Disabled for right now. We're gonna get some scouts here. Let's add these to the selection. All right. And then I'm going to tell them to sausage guard point over here. All right. Got some lines going to the guard point. And what's this uh, set sausage guard look at? Maybe if I. Uh, Try to spawn a. Oh, let me just uh, deselect all here. Let me just try to spawn a sniper. Put you there. Commands. Add sausage selection. And then set sausage guard look at to over here. Maybe he'll just like stay in his position, but look at the uh, point. No, oh, nope. I don't know how that one works. Hmm. Oh, no, he's actually looking at it. See the little line there, so when uh, he's activated, he'll turn around and look over there. Okay, and then... All right, let me just try this out, a little test. Let's go to select all the sausages. Hopefully they are selected. And let's play, activate. Hmm, no. Hmm. All right, let me just, oh, oh there we go. <laughs> That's what's going on. All right, activate all. No. Hmm, activate selection. Hmm. No? You're not gonna do it? Hmm. Alright, let me just try this instead. This tool's a little buggy. These guys are supposed to be assaulting, right? Hmm. 
me just do this. Take some time here. All right, let's just uh, do that again. That was kind of weird. I think I know what my problem is. I didn't set the behavior. So, yeah, it's going to be a little hard, but let's try this again. Go back to shot dogs. I have a sniper here as well, so sniper. It's going to uh, whoop. command select select you. Set sausage guard look at over there. Yep, oh, you're looking over there. Good. And you will be guarding. Active behavior guard point. Okay, good. Because I noticed that both of these are like disabled, right? Current behavior disabled, and then it said active behavior disabled. So, yeah. All right. And then we're going to get some scouts. Oops, nope, nope. Can I not select you? Deselect. Deselect, there we go. So we're going to get some scouts here. Boop, boop, there we go. And you two are going to assault. Set Saucic Assault Point. Okay, they're assaulting. Okay, and just gotta make sure that they are do they're gonna do their thing. Active behavior, assault. Are you assaulting? Okay, good. Deselect or select all. Now we're gonna have some uh let's see, uh I'm gonna spawn some Mark Wieners. Let's see. And we have some officers here. Right here. I'm going to tell these guys to guard this point right there. And then the other guy. all figuring this out you know <laughs> this is a little uh it's a little tedious but i mean this is what you get with a uh with a tool like this you got to do all the work so set him to guard he's on guard duty set the guard point right there and you know what maybe i should uh have the saucig look at that guy and this Saucig look at that guy, right? Okay, good. Now we're going to have a sniper over here. Let me just uh, go and deselect this guy, just in case. Sniper dude, we need a sniper Merc Wiener over here. He going to be sniping. Let's see, I'm going to select you. You are going to guard. Set behavior to guard, okay. Guard, look at... Uh, over there. Just, you know, turn around and look. That's all you need to do, just stay here. Select Saucig, make sure. Okay, deselect. Oops. Don't activate. I don't want to do that. And you know what? I'm going to have a wandering patrol... Let's see, how do you, uh, hmm, is there a way to do, uh, patrols here? Hmm. 
Well, we can have a... We can have a... Let's see. We can... Oh, man. Two scouts. And I want them... To assault... Oh, can I do multiple? Please, thank you. Assault. Select, uh, set the behavior. So they're assaulting. And their assault point will be all the way over here. I'm going to try to capture this area. That's good. Select Saucig. Select all. And, um, well, I might have some heavies. Let's try this. Let's try putting some heavies over here. Maybe right there. Another heavy. And they are going to come on. There's the beam. I mean that laser beam. Select this guy as well. And commands. Guard. Set behavior to. Just gonna make sure. Guard point. Set saucing guard point here. Or actually. Oh, you know what? I want you to just guard this area. But at the same time, I want you to look at there. I don't know what that does. We'll see when we activate them. And then let's go deselect. I want you to guard this. But I want you to look at that. Okay. So we set up everything we need to. Let me just uh, deselect all here. <clears throat> and we are going to check if this all works. If not, then uh, I'm going to have to play around with this more. But select all. Everyone's selected. <laughs> this is the, this is it. Activate all. Okay, they're guarding. Oh, sniper went down. Huh. Uh, I don't know why. I like it. I like that the, these guys uh, kind of uh, stood at their posts. Oh, oh, they're gonna get killed immediately. And these guys are going to assault. Excuse me. Oh, the heavy just... Maybe I set them to, uh... Guard. What was up with that black rectangle? Are you gonna guard? <laughs> See, that guy stayed where he was. So I guess he was just gonna investigate over there. <laughs> Going back to their positions. I guess that guy's assaulting, but, you know, he's already there, so... Alright. Need a little work on, uh, on how to do this, but uh, let's see. Select all. Set all to dead. <laughs> all right. Cool stuff. Let me see. What else can I do? Uh, let's see. Saucic behavior. I don't know. I want to go to commands here. Wander. Hmm. Sable sets also good dead. So yeah, okay. Kind of understand what to do now. On how to use this tool. Ooh, pack squad. Spawn commander. Spawn trooper. Flanker. Sniper. Skulker. Ah. Like a little stalker, huh? CQB. Ranged. Prospect. It's one of the new factions. <laughs> I just want to look at these. These are really nice bots. There. Oh, that's pretty cool. You got the Pacification Squad if you're unlucky to run into them in uh, Rise of the Rot Wieners. And then this is the new one. As well as the uh, skulkers or stalkers. 
some gladiators here. Boop. There we go. Hopolite. Mer. Mermilo. I don't know. <laughs> it's Latin. Secutor. Orcus. Maximus. All right. That's pretty cool. And we, well, we've already seen the uh, Meat Fortress Scout. Uh, Rotwiener NPCs. All right. Oh, uh, what can I do here? Let's see. Select all. Let's do random IFFs. Assault. I want them to... Uh... <laughs> oh, am I trapped here? Come on. Oh, there we go. I want them to assault or run over to this base while fighting each other. So, okay, just making sure I set the assault and the assault point will be over here. All those guys are gonna run. <laughs> All right, so let's see, select. If I just do activate all, do I need to select them? That's a question that I need to answer by just ch testing it out. Right oh, Come that on. worked. <laughs> it's a free-for-all. They're all random IFFs. So there's no teams here. Just every man for the, or every Saucig for themselves. Oh, I think we do have teams. But what I can do is select all and then randomize the IFFs again so that uh, there are no alliances, only victories. Oh, two fighters over here. Oh, anybody else who's alive? Oh, we got a skulker and a pacification squad member. They're out of ammo. Gonna pound that meat. Oh, come on. Ooh, got wounded there. I wonder what that is. Fight for me. For my entertainment. <laughs> what? Huh? Come on, somebody's gonna win. Ugh. Oh, we got a winner. Pacification squad member wins. I'm just going to select them, and that's your reward. <laughs> All right, that's pretty cool. The uh, Saucig tool? I don't know what this is called, officially. The Saucig spawner tool. So now you can do just uh, some pretty cool stuff. Let's get some uh, civilians in here. Uh, let's see... Uh, what can I do here? Pistols? Pistols? A lot of pistol dudes here. Alright. You are all on IFF1, hopefully. Select all. IFF1. And you are going to guard this area. Alright? And I want you to look over there. Okay, good. You select. Now, let's spawn some rot wieners. <laughs> uh, spawn sausage, rot wiener. Let's see. Just a standard uh, rot wiener? Okay. Loaders are the ones Anton showed off with the uh, new nautical theme. Two floaters. And the pricks are like the uh, long-range cactus-type dudes. Okay, you guys are going to be on IFF2. And you are going to assault this point. <clears throat> also, 
make sure that these guys set their behavior to assault. Assault, 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 assault. Okay. Just like that. And I forgot to do that with these guys. So this is going to be really tough because there's a lot of sausages here. Uh, add sausage selection. Hopefully I got you. And you too. And you guys are going to be guarding. So, okay. We select all. Now all I need to do is select activate all. They're going to assault. And they're going to guard. But some of them will go into the fray. They're going to get massacred. They only have pistols. Oh, no. Oh, he's getting shot in the back. Oh, terrible. Oh, that, that, that rot wiener does not have any legs. Pick up this uh, meat core. Get a little snack in there. Okay. They are dead. But you know what? Oh, hold on, just wait. Let's spawn in some... Oh, you know what? Disable all. Just, you know, stand there. Oh, see, they're assaulting. All right, let's spawn in some shot dogs, because we need backup. Shield guy first. And uh, we've got some officers here. Oh. And a breacher. Oh, no, a heavy. Let's put a heavy in there. Okay. You are on IFF 3. Boop, boop. One more. Oh, two more. There we go. I want you to assault. Set behavior to assault. And then set the assault point to over here. Okay. Should be good. Deselect all. Activate. Oh, no. Oh, that guy. Is he down? Is he down? Oh, he's down. Oh. A stray, uh... <laughs> if I remember from what Anton has said, that these guys are resistant. They're highly resistant to bullets. So, melee weapons work. But I think it's a uh, blunt... Blunt force trauma. It's all like hammers and oh, you got him. Blue plate special. All right, they got that one. Now one more. I think still alive. Oh, still alive. He's got the shield. Just ganging up on him. Are they going to get him? Oh, no. Friendly fire. Oh, they got him. Huh? All right. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, stop. No. Get away from me. What are you doing? Get away from me. I think he hears me. That's why he's wondering where that noise is coming from. All right. Let me just uh, select all here. What? And explode all so that they uh, go away. And don't tank the performance. And yeah, I actually just want to showcase something. The rot wieners spawn several of these guys. Like Anton said, they're highly resistant to uh, bullets, so you spawn like a gun or something. It was in the uh, Twitch stream that he did recently. So let's spawn a gun here. Go. CX4. 
magazine. Takes a lot of bullets. Just go eat that. <laughs> but let me try a bigger caliber. Hmm, what can I use here? Something pretty big. I don't know if I could just like take a Desert Eagle or something in uh, 750 AE. Alright, there we go. Try that. Five bullets. Wow. Actually, let me just uh, pick this up again. Let's spawn a standard rot wiener and compare that. One bullet. Oh, this one's empty. <laughs> I should have spawn locked some ammunition. Versus the five for... Uh, Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Floaters, I think they might be the same as the regular rot, rot wieners. Yeah. All you need is one. They're high powered. Well, this is 9mm, so maybe it's not the greatest uh, example. Of something that you might get in rot wieners. Let's try the uh, 22 here. Probably starting out, uh, starting out in the mode, you'll get something pretty weak like this. It's one magazine. It's two magazines. It's three magazines. Oh man. about uh, four. We'll just say four. It was close to four. I was running out of ammunition there anyways. Oh! Oh, that's right. The uh, These guys take five. Oh, their bodies take a lot more. Hold on. That'll be a nice thing to test. Uh, let's see. Select all. Explode all. Okay. This is a fresh magazine, hopefully. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, up. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 30, 31, 32, 33, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 41, 42, 43. Oh, man, that just took a lot of ammo right there. I lost count. No telling how much ammo uh, you'd probably need for a 22. Good for target practice, though. Maybe you could use them as, like, <laughs> as a... You can pick up their weapons as well. Alright. Need two of those at least. So if you had two of these... Well, let's try the head. You dead? Please be dead. Oh, this thing fires fast. Alright, one of those will... So if you can get the... Uh, if you can get the, uh, the, the Prick's weapon... 
that's what they're called, <laughs> from them and use it against them, then maybe you could have a uh, you could survive. Wow, this thing fires fast. <laughs> All right. I just want to try them with the um, the blunt damage. I think Anton has said that on the stream that if you have a blunt weapon, such as a hammer or a um, a big hammer, <laughs> then those uh, that will make it work. So let's see. Garage tool. Let's just try a hammer for right now. Although axes won't work because they're supposed to be like penetrating, you can still, you know, I mean, it's it's a blunt, blunt force trauma, you know. Sledgehammer out here. There we go. Oh, three hits with a hammer. That's pretty, uh, let's, uh, grab this properly here. Where's the uh, grab point for this thing? Oh, it's on the bottom. Okay. Uh, I think Anton has said that this is a little too overpowered and he's going to fix it. But it seems like it's one hit. Eat these cores. So yeah, like, uh, like he said, blunt weapons do the damage. Again, piercing weapons don't, so any, any kind of knife might not cut it. Uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Although... Oh, where is the tool here? Let's just do something uh, really crazy before I uh, stop this recording. Select all. Explode all. And... Let's go and select... Just spawn a lot of these guys. Spawn as many as we can. I'm not the first person to do this. Ooh. Let's go in. <laughs> There's some uh, slowdown happening now. Oh. All right. Now that's, yeah. Ooh. All right. Let's go and get ourselves... A machine gun. I actually just want to check. Does this actually work too? Let me see. Uh, with a muzzle device. Let's do boxy suppressor. Hmm. Nope. Oh, we need to talk to Anton about that. No suppressors on that. Okay. All right, uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yes. I was going to get this. I'm going to get one of these. Throw that away. I don't need you or you. Especially you. Stick this magazine in there. Let's see if one, one drum, one box from this thing will take out all these, uh, these, uh, pricks. And uh, I'm going to add a suppressor on here. Go for the smallest one right now. Oop. <laughs> That's the smallest one. Oh no, the lag. All right, I'm going to pre-spin the barrel. Warm up if you hold the trigger halfway. Oh my goodness, these guys are really bullet resistant, aren't they? You aim for the head, maybe it might... Oh no, my computer, don't... Don't die on me now, buddy. I'm out of ammo. You can always like <laughs> half. I love doing that though with the uh, 
the minigun. Just like half spinning, or you know, just holding down the uh, trigger halfway to pre-spin. I am holding it down halfway. And then if you pull it down all the way... I think I got everyone. Hopefully. Oh, we got a couple survivors here. I have to do a point blank range. Oh man, these guys are really bullet resistant. It takes a lot of bullets to make them, uh, There we go, finally. Oh, out of ammo. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Where's the uh, spawn here? Let me just grab this thing and uh, explode all. There we go. I'm a computer, uh, I'm a computer rest. Grab these glorious meat cores. Practice my eating. No, we got two over there. Oh, there's a third one. Mmm. Delicious. I'd imagine they'd probably taste like uh, cactus. <laughs> if you've ever eaten cactus. Or a specific type of uh, cactus. I forgot what it was. But that's what, uh, <laughs> you know, you uh, live in those regions, right? Uh, like Arizona or... It's the Southwest, basically, you can have that. Oh, well, whatever. All right, so that's about it for today. I might do some take and hold later. But, uh, yeah, just testing out some of the, uh, the uh, whatchamacallit, the Sausage Spawner. Oop, which is right there. Oh, there you go. Which is pretty cool. It's a pretty powerful tool, although a little buggy and uh, a little hard to use, obviously. But... Um, well, you know, that's what you get for a developer tool. It's not, it's, it's never that easy, so. But, uh, it's really cool. And, uh, hopefully we can get something a little bit more refined later on. Because Anton, I think, once said that, um, we could have, like, tools to make, a uh, machinima. You know, like, uh, what, uh, what, uh, that one user, uh, General Moron, did with, um, the TF2, um, or the Meat Fortress little shorts that he made. You know, copying, or, uh, or, or uh, not copying, but uh, paying homage to uh, Team Fortress by using the Meat Fortress characters. We get a, we get a full-figured tool like that, and then we can, like, pose the um, the sausages any way we want, you know? Like, let's say you could spawn in a scout and then, like, grab, like, individual segments and then animate them. You know, that'd be really cool. But uh, what we got here is pretty cool too, you know. We can we can do basic things like tell them to go assault. Uh, oh, hold on, let me just select this guy. Go assault that location, you know. And then make sure uh, he's assaulting, and then activate all, and he'll go over there and oh, <laughs> lots of dead. Uh, uh, he hears something. Keeps going over to me for some reason. You know what? But yeah, you know, we get a tool like that, or maybe like, um, maybe there's a possibility like one day we'll get like a mode where we can control our own squad of sausages. You know, we have a little tool that we can pull out and assault that position. You know, or or uh, flank the enemy from there, something like that. So this this you know this has a ton of like potential with this, and I think it's pretty cool. So yeah. Uh, well, alright, that's about it. I'll see you guys next time.